if you were on the mat with the squad, what kind of mat talk would you be doing today? I'm not doing, uh, you know, let's go! We did it! You got a squad? Yes! Bro! Get it up, bro! Queen Monica sitting before us today in Emmy nominee six times over for, of course, Netflix's cheer, including unstructured reality program. How are you feeling? We're all just on cloud nine. It's so exciting. And I was looking through every category just to see. And every time I saw cheer, I was, you know, scream and get excited. So <laughs> very well, I, I dressed for the occasion today. I'm in your signature red and black. I even gave you a high pony. Because Yay! I, I am just so excited for you guys. You know, the show has really hit a nerve with people in the best way possible. It's inspiring and it encourages hard work and dedication. What is it about the show that you think really just kind of struck a chord with audiences? Um, I think it's a lot of things, but basically just the fact that these kids come together that have overcome so many hardships in their life. And they're, you know, that basically just the fact that you can be successful no matter what you've overcome or no matter where you've come from or no matter what your past is, your past does not define you. And if you surround yourself with the right people, um, you can be lifted up and be successful. What has the group chat looked like this morning? Have you been FaceTiming with the squad? Who have you spoken with? I actually got to FaceTime with Morgan because she, she FaceTimed me. Um, but we have been chatting in our group and everybody is so excited. Who's in the group? What's everybody been saying? Um, Ladarius said that we're all welcome for his uh, role in getting us these Emmy nominations. Already, already doing his acceptance speech. Yes, yes I, he's a mess. So he's just hilarious. We just, I love to cut up with them. They just make my day every day. So it's just, you know, if you need, if you need to be lifted up, all you have to do is uh, say something in the group chat, and they're just funny. Those are my kids. I'll fight tooth and nail for them. What would it mean to you to take home the award? Oh my goodness, it would, it would mean everything because you know, anytime you get awarded for something it's you know like a symbol that you've done something right and um you know that's why we work so hard for these trophies it's it's not really for the medal it's really for the significance of what it means and for the feeling of um achieving that success the hard work that we've put in and i think you know getting an emmy nomination is is just like one of these right here it's you know the reward the feeling of, of uh, the symbolism of success. I would be remiss to not kind of go down the list and, and ask you how some of the members of the squad are doing. How is Gabby, how is her relationship with her parents today? Great, I mean, Gabby's parents are fabulous. Um, you know, I think you just have to know them. They're, you know, they their personalities came across a little strong in the show and that's just, they're just really fun people. They love their kids more than anything. Um, and you know i mean they're they're great great parents and they love each that 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 family loves each other so hard they will they have each other's back um so i think you know they got a little bit of you know short end of the stick on that as i was kind of shocked at how uh people took them I, and i guess it's because i know them so well and i know what great people they are um so you know they're they're really great they're really great people earlier this year Gabby was very honest and she said, you know, it was kind of an eye-opening moment. I feel like all the chaos has brought positivity mm -hmm. and I feel like we're a lot closer as a family and I feel like we're, we've always been super co good at communicating, but now I feel like it's just, it's uh, even better with my whole entire family. Have you noticed anything change in their dynamic? Um, you know, I've, I've noticed Gabby, um, she, she has really come out of her shell and, um, you know, I think maybe maybe that was a little bit of the shift, you know, her realizing that, um, you know, instead of allowing them to do everything for her, she needed to kind of step up and uh, take charge of some of the things in her life. And she, I mean, she just flour flourished in this whole thing. And, uh, you know, this season when she was back, I just saw her go to a whole nother level of leadership and confidence. I thought it was great. Well, speaking of leadership and confidence, a man who could teach a master class, of course, Jerry. How is he doing? Have you guys been in touch? Yes, Jerry is doing fabulous, of <laughs> course. And, uh, you know, he's always involved in something. 
Um, he, I, I thought I was going to get to see him in person. Uh, he and Ladarius and Morgan all graduated in the, in the spring. And we had pushed our graduation ceremony back to uh, August, but then we had to end up canceling that. But he was planning on coming into town for that. So uh, we'll have to figure out another way for us to get together. And of course, our girl Lexi, a lot of up, ups and downs with her throughout the season and, and with her relationship with you and with the squad, where, where does she stand today? How is she doing? Uh, I mean, once again, Lexi is also just has done amazing. I think really, really come out of her shell too. And her confidence has just, it's just out the roof. I, I have just enjoyed watching these kids, you know, come into their own um, because of the show. Um, Lexi will be back here again this next year. And um, she's just doing great. What's been the biggest change that you've noticed with her? I think just the confidence in herself and uh, just, you know, she saw how many people reached out to her with support and love. And I, you know, honestly, those two things can make anyone go to a whole nother level of success, right? I mean, when people believe in you, you believe in yourself. And um, I mean, I'm just so excited to see what she does. She's such a brilliant artist and creative person. And I think she's just got a really bright future ahead of her. Well, you mentioned the future. The number one question on fans' minds are we gonna get season two of Cheer? What have you heard and are you down to be a part of it again? Oh, I'm always down. <laughs> I mean, I think the whole world needs more cheer in their life right now. But, you know, unfortunately, I really honestly don't know. So I'm just gonna enjoy today and just continue to enjoy season one and all of the glory that we've gotten from it. And, you know, I don't know if I'll stop smiling today. Good, you shouldn't. You absolutely <laughs> deserve to be a, a glowing goddess all day. <laughs> I am curious though, now now being somewhat of a docu-series vet, what would you do differently or what would you want to see happen in season two that maybe you didn't get enough of in season one? You know, I, that's a good question um, because I, I had no idea what to expect with even, you know, season one, I, um, all I could do was just be myself and do what we normally do. And so I don't think I would do anything differently just because simply it wouldn't be an authentic story if I did anything differently. Um, you know, it took us just honestly only a few days to get used to the fact that we had cameras in our faces and, you know, microphones on us, on us and stuff. But um, after those first few days, I mean, we, you know, just, forget that they were there. We were so focused on what we were wanting our, you know, our goal um, for the comp for competition. And um, so I think if I did anything different, it, it would take away a little bit of the authenticity of the show. So I'm just going to leave it up to, you know, camera people and stuff like that. They're, they're the ones that know their jobs and, and I don't. So if, um, if I was ever involved in another show, I, I would let the experts do their thing. Yeah, you just keep being you. I think that's really what the fans are looking for at the end of the day. You keep going until you get it right. And then you keep going until you can't get it wrong. This pandemic has really knocked us all, you know, on our behinds and uh, the world has really shifted in, in kind of a major way. I'm curious, how does this pandemic affect you, your work and the state of cheer? You know, it ended our season early uh, back in the spring. Our our competition, our national competition that we had worked all year for was canceled just weeks before. Um, and- How did that make you feel? It, it was it was honestly devastating. It, um, for so many reasons, but you know, we had to meet, uh, we had taken a couple of days off because we had our spring break practices where we were practicing all day. We looked so good. We were so prepared for where we needed, we were ahead of where we needed to be. And, um, they took a few days off and that's when everything just went kind of nuts and, and things started getting canceled. And every day the, the panic was setting in of you know what was to come. And that Sunday before we were supposed to meet that following Monday for our next practice, 
uh, that's when we found out our competition was canceled. So we met, we had one last meeting to turn in uniforms um, and basically say goodbye to each other. And that was so hard because we weren't mentally ready um, just to end that quick. I mean, we had several more weeks of memories that we were supposed to be making together. And to have, to, it was a very sad occasion. I mean, I don't even cry that often, but I I cried on the way to the grocery store. I cried on the way to the college. I, it was just an awful day. I took about a week just to mourn the situation and really allow myself to be really sad about it. And then, you know, just, we you've got to move on. So we just picked ourselves up and, and moved forward, started working on this year's team, um, working on, you know, getting things ready for camp, which got canceled. Um, and, you know, so, I mean, it, it, it was tough and I'm looking, I'm hopeful that, you know, we're going to make the best out of this year. We're going to definitely um, start off our practices a little differently. We're going to try some smaller groups so that we can practice social distancing and be safe about it. And we're just going to take everything week by week. And, you know, hopefully by the time the spring rolls around and we start preparing for our next season's competition, things will be back to where we can practice uh, like we would normally practice.